Hi everyone, welcome to Inspiration Ministries. I'm David Chadwick. I'm dealing with the very difficult subject of why is there suffering in the world and most particularly today, dealing with the question of why are there natural disasters? Well, well, first of all, let me state that I don't believe there's any such thing as a natural disaster. I believe you can call them unnatural disasters for they were never a part of God's original intent in creation. When God made the heavens and the earth, God made this world operate perfectly, harmoniously. He wanted Adam and Eve to live in Eden, paradise is what the word means, in a place where there were no tsunamis, no hurricanes, no rainstorms, no wildfires, no earthquakes. None of those things would ever exist in Eden. But when Adam and Eve rebelled against God, everything in God's once perfect created order was infected with this disease called sin. Uh, it's also called the curse in the Bible, that where God wanted there to be beautiful foliage and all kinds of agriculture that would immediately crop up and feed Adam and Eve, now there are thorns in the ground. Now there are all kinds of rootage that cause problems, weeds, etc. So God's original intent is not operating as he wanted it to do. Uh, in fact, in the rebellion, we see that the curse has infected all creation to the point where in Romans the eighth chapter, Paul says that there's groaning going on in the world. And he specifies two particular places where the groaning is happening. First of all, in our bodies. Uh, for those of us who've lived any number of years, we know that groaning is taking place. Our joints start hurting in places where they never hurt before. We start aching in our bodies in places where we never ached before. There's groaning going on in our bodies, looking forward to a day when that groaning, that pain doesn't happen any longer. And secondly, Paul says there's a groaning in creation. Creation's not operating as God intended it to operate. There is no longer original intent. A curse has come across this created order, and there are things like tsunamis and earthquakes and wildfires and mudslides and floods, etc. And we see that happening all around us. So we ask the question, why are there unnatural disasters? It's because of the fall. It's because of the rebellion of human sinfulness. It's because this creation has been infected with a disease called sin. And when that question is asked to me repeatedly, why are there earthquakes, for example, and hurricanes which come repeatedly in the place where I live, the answer is always it's because of the fall. It's because of the curse that's upon creation. But here is the point. Paul says in Romans 8 that not only is there a curse upon our bodies that's groaning, not only is there a curse upon creation and we're groaning, we look forward to the day of redemption, Paul says, when that curse no longer is found. That day of redemption through Jesus, when our bodies will receive a resurrection body that has no more pain, no more tears, no more trials, no more turmoil. We look forward to a creation redemption day when this world is restored to original intent. And Jesus said that we'll live here on this planet when he comes back again and restores this world to what he desired. Won't that be a great day? Until then, we live in suffering in a world that doesn't operate correctly, but we look forward to the day when that will happen and it's promised to us that it will happen.